Okay, we've got an FRC uh, official, I reckon, uh, on the line to respond to that comment. Uh, morning, and thank you for joining us. Could you tell us what is going on with this directive from the FRC? and vulnerability of today and students that they convene to to and fro through the Sopana buses and the uh, incidences of road traffic crashes involving school buses in Nigeria. You recall that the school bus was involved in the crash in uh, 2009 last year where the students were hanging like uh, a model situation and uh, two or three of them fell and were subsequently ran over by an oncoming vehicle. Another incident uh, was the one that happened around the Mount Tate when uh, 32 children were on excursion and were eventually involved in an accident and uh, all of them died. You recall, recall another one in, around the Dore Hill, but they were equally going on excursion and there was an uh, incident. Uh, so this made the Federal Safety Corps to organize the One Day Stakeholder Forum to address this issue in November 2009. So arising from the forum, a chairman technical committee was drawn from different organizations to come up with a policy document on school board standards and operations. Uh, consequently, the document comprising both the guidelines and specifications for school board operation was approved by the standard organization of Nigeria, Governing Council. So in line with the above, the Federal Road City Corps in conjunction with the SON, carried out a nationwide certification of administrators of state-owned educational institutions, proprietors of private schools, and other stakeholders in the six geopolitical zones of the country between March and July 2011 on the content of this document. Uh, the aim of the program was actually to enlighten administrators in both public and private schools on the minimum standard required for the operation of school buses in the country. Our uh, attendance uh, was drawn from National Association of Professors of Public Schools, Government Schools, State Ministry of Education. Okay, Mr. Kazim, let's jump straight on to the question of the color, which is what uh, she also raised there. Why insist, insist that they all have yellow? Is that the minimum requirement? Yes, there's a, is a one standard. That yellow that they see is, a, is what, what really accepted. And uh, it's a situation where we want a unique uh, color for all uh, school buses so that at sight you could observe that uh, a school bus is on, uh, on its way on the road. So that the standard, the, we even have a lot of other specifications. Are you it's telling me, are you telling us that across the entire world there is nowhere else where a school bus is uh, any other color other than yellow? Well, we, we must be moving ahead. You know, we, we're talking about uh, being a particularly acceptable organization. So we must be looking at safety, and we must be copying our country, especially the countries that have been uh, seen to have zero tolerance for road traffic crashes. And we should be copying uh, countries like, uh, I mean, we should be uh, like UK, we should be looking at uh, United States of America and so on. So this. Uh, they have tested this thing and they have found out that this is practically very, very good. And it's what we are adopting in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, while you're looking at all of those countries and what they're doing, are you taking into consideration the challenge that these proprietors are facing? For instance, they say FRC should have even, first of all, either improved on the training of those drivers, go to the schools and see the kinds of buses they're using. If they are motorable, if they've got... It's an all like capacity thing. It's, I mean, it's, only, it's something that we are talking about standard. No, they say that, I mean, you, you, you heard the lady, I'm not sure if you heard her, she said that one of your officials was on radio and said that any bus that is not painted in yellow will first be impounded taken to the FRC office and will not be released until that bus is painted yellow. Whereas in your, in your, in your recommendation, you say that was not the case. Does the FRC have powers to impound vehicles now? No. In fact, what we are starting in April is what is called subtle enforcement. The subtle enforcement is not even going to be a situation where you impound any vehicle or maybe even ask children to drop a drug vehicle. Subtle enforcement means trying to still continue to talk to people on the necessity to comply with it. So we are not impounding any people as of now at all. That's the situation. 
you know, yeah, we know you're trying to um, enforce or bring up standards, but color does not mean standards per se. And there are those who are afraid that for security reasons, painting these buses one particular color could just put them out there as ready targets for those that might be targeting children. But when you talk about standards, you usually look at uniformity. You, see, you, you, you want to harmonize a, a, a particular policy, you have to look at the uniformity and the uniqueness of that particular thing. They, they, there are not people running after students, uh, uh, so to say. And uh, when you, you, you have to look at the adher adherent advantages against disadvantages, the merits against the demerits in this situation, I'll find out that if we have that uniqueness and the standard is there and we are able to identify this. But in fact, you find out that people will even be wary of driving dangerously around uh, when they see, when they strike their school buses because of uh, uh, the fear that the, the children could, could, could misbehave. So these are the things we are looking at in this uh, uh, policy. So what's going to happen to that official of the FRSU who went on radio and said they will impound those vehicles? I am telling you authoritatively that uh, what is starting in April is what is known as subtle enforcement. And subtle enforcement in case continuing to enlighten the, 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 the uh, people involved. Continue to, we will not impact any vehicle as of now. I'm not going to drop any child from any uh, school bus. We no. want to make sure that we continue. You will not impound any vehicle now or ever? We cannot say ever. But you know, when we, you start the program, transportation is very, very important. No, but is there any... You, 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 are you... Okay. Uh, uh, mind We're out of time on And the, the, what I'm saying is that the popular program that is starting in April is just to continue. I'm wondering, because there's a recent court judgment about FRSC and number plates, which says you've got no powers, no rights uh, to impound any vehicle. But now FRSC is saying again that you can't say ever that you may eventually impound these vehicles, but... I guess we'll respond to that at a later date because we're out of time on this one. Uh, Bisi Kazim speaking to us from Abuja about that directive. But we'll focus on this in the subsequent day. So oh, just shall, keep your questions and comments coming through to us if you've got any challenge for any of these policies. We're back in just a moment. Join us again. <laughs>